Hello, Hay Houses. I've got some special things to tell you about today that are all about the Children's Commissioner and a request for us to take part in a big survey and it's called The Big Ask. So I'm going to show you the PowerPoint that the government have sent and then you're going to have a chance in the next couple of days to fill in a questionnaire so everybody knows your views, which I think is a good thing. So I'm going to share the screen and I hope you enjoy finding out all about of The Big Ask. So here we go. So. This is all about the big ask and it's saying who will take part in the big ask? Well, every child in the UK has rights. There are more than 40 of these and it's the job of all adults in the UK, including the government, teachers and parents to make sure that they are followed. So your rights as a children, do you know them? Right, your teachers can pause in a minute. I'm going to read them and perhaps you can pause and just decide if you know which of these are your rights. Every child should receive a free education that prepares you for life after school. Every child should have a gaming device such as a PlayStation or Xbox. Every child should be able to follow their own religion or beliefs and have these respected by others. Every child has the right not to be discriminated against for any reason. Every child has the right to go on holiday at least once every year. Every child has the right to, to give their opinion and be listened to. You can pause me, have a think which of those you agree with. Which do you think are your rights? Four of the statements you read were rights. There are over 40 in total. And you can see there, it's all around free education. That you have a right to that. Have a right for your own, to your own religion and beliefs and that those are respected. You have a right that your opinion is listened to and every child has the right not to be discriminated against. Those are important rights. And there's another, you can very clever with your maths, I'm sure, and work out how many other rights you have. Uh, the gaming device one obviously wasn't your right or the holiday every year. <laughs> However, children do have the right to play, to rest and lead healthy right lives. Maybe you could have a think about what other rights you think children should have. Now, this is the Children's Commissioner. It's Dame Rachel Mary D'Souza and she's the new children's commissioner here in England. It's her job to make sure that children's rights are protected. She speaks up for young people, to make sure that the government and other important people listen to what you have to say. I'm going to click on the image of Dame Rachel and uh, hear about her job. Before she became children's commissioner, she was a head teacher. So it's only a two minute clip this, see what she has to say. My name is Rachel D'Souza and I'm the Children's Commissioner for England. The last year has been really challenging for children in so many ways. It's been incredible what you've done to help stop the spread of the coronavirus, like not seeing your friends or your relatives or learning from home instead of school, missing out on playing out or going to after school clubs, sports and activities, and even losing family members to COVID. It's been really tough, but you've got through it. Now you're back to school and things are going to start getting back to normal. I'm actually very happy about coming back to school, finally get to see all my friends and you know, their faces again instead of looking at them on screen. It's, it's more like natural and also it, me, I need to get prepared for a, my A-levels because I'm aspiring to be an aerospace engineer, right? And it's going to take me a lot of work to get there. So it's time for the adults to listen to you about what this year has been like. When you're a child, lots of different people make decisions that affect your life. Your parents or carers might make decisions with you about what time you go to bed or what time you have to come in from seeing your friends. But there are other people who make decisions about your life too, and you might never meet them. Some of these people work for government. 
For example, government makes decisions about what you study at school or what support you can get if things aren't going well. My job as Children's Commissioner for England is to check that government understands how the decisions they are making about you will affect you. And it's my responsibility to make sure that people who work in government know what you think about the plans they're making for you. I do this in different ways. The first thing I do is to talk to children and young people. I am your eyes and ears, and I'm here to stand up for your rights. I'm independent of government. This means if sometimes I don't agree with the plans government is making for children, I tell them. That's because I work for you, not the government. Right, Chuck, I'm just trying to figure out how to get back to where we were before. There we go, I managed it. I hope you heard that because it kept saying, do not share the screen with this bit. Anyway, if you didn't, we'll go back to it. So to help the Children's Commissioner understand what young people are thinking and feeling, Dame Rachel is asking for every young person in England to answer a questionnaire. Questionnaire is called the Big Ask. Big Ask with the largest ever survey of young people in England. It's only a short survey and it will ask you how old you are, what things make you happy, what things worry you, who you live with, which people help you. All the answers that you give in the survey are confidential. This means that your answers won't be shared with other people. The survey won't ask for your name or your phone number and you don't have to answer a question if you don't want to. Children's Commissioner will collect the answers from all the young people in the UK and take them to the government to show them what young people think and what young people want to see in their future. So, I'm going to just watch this now and see what we might find out about it on this one. The first thing I'm doing as Children's Commissioner is carrying out the largest ever survey of children in England. It's time to give something big back to children in England, and we need your help to do it. What is life like for you? What are your dreams and ambitions? What is holding you back? The things that are holding me back in life is that I can be quite shy and I don't have the skills yet. When I'm older, I would like to be a doctor, maybe a surgeon. When I leave school, I would like to be an army officer. My aspiration when I'm older is to be a top hairdresser. I want to be a teacher when I grow up. If you don't go to school, we don't get jobs. Education is really important. Good education is really important because you need to follow things in life. If you have a dream, then you should follow it always. Life is hard at the moment because I don't get to see all my family. Coming back to school is hard because I have lots of work to catch up on. Lockdown's been really boring and it's been a struggle to learn. I'm going to use what you tell me to show the government what you need to live happier lives. It's called the Big Ask and it's a chance to think big and get your voice heard. I promise to listen and would ask you all to take this opportunity to take our survey. But of course I think it's a great idea. So don't just take my word for it. Here's footballer and children's champion, Marcus Rashford. Hi guys, just a quick message to let you know that if you're asked to participate in the big ask, I feel like it's a great chance for you guys to have your own say really. Um, you know, you can, you can voice your opinions on, on what's been happening and, and speak on what you want to happen next. So I feel like it's a, it's a brilliant way to express yourselves. So there we have it, children, and uh, being asked to take part in this. Now they've extended the deadline, and um, so I'm just going to show it to you now. <coughs> and I'm hoping I can get it on here. So. Once you get onto this on a laptop, it only takes five to 10 minutes, children, you choose your age. Now, for those children who are in your reception in year one, we're going to be asking parents to do it with you at home. 
But for those aged six to eight, I'll show you what your survey looks like. It's uh, quite easy. It says, let's get started. Let's get started. Here we go. I'll read it to you. You've got to choose the first question. Choose up to three words that describe how you feel most of the time. Oh, right. How do I feel most of the time? Let me have a go. Now, normally I'm a happy person, so I'm going to take happy. Now, normally, 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 I'm quite excited about things. Um, but sometimes, I must admit, lately, I have worried. So there we go. Those are three words, how I feel most of the time. So I've done those three. And I'm just trying to figure out on this computer screen how I move on. Aha, here we go. OK, so I took OK. Wave ticked OK. Oh, see. How happy my friendships. Now then, how happy are you with? For each thing you can choose, how happy you are about it, from happy to sad. Okay, we've got smiley faces here, children. So, my friendships. I think I'm happy about my friendships. I'm just going to tick that one. Okay, my education. Well, yeah, okay, I'm going to tick happy only because my. I should be. I'm the head teacher. I better be happy with education here, haven't I? How much I can play? Oh, a bit sad about that. I have to do a lot of hard work in my office. So I don't get to play much. And the places I can go to have fun. Um, not very happy about them at the moment because oh, it's always raining. Park's always cold. I'm trying to imagine I'm in year one or year two. Well, year two, I think this one is. My family life. Oh, I'm I'm very happy about them. They make me smile. Um, my family's health. I'm a bit worried about that at the moment because my Margaret's been very poorly. So that's where I put that. My life overall. Well, I'm a happy person, but I know some of you haven't been lately. Um, but I'll, I'll put happy for me. That's just for me. But boys and girls, you've got to be really, really honest because how lockdown has affected all of you and how COVID has, you've got to be honest. And don't worry about saying if you're feeling sad. So then you have to go through and you have to say, let's get started. And this is your chance. Tell people what you want so i'll let you have a look you have to say if there's something else you think will be important you can tell us You've got to choose up to five things that are most important to you and on what this is for your future children getting on well with my current family starting a family of my own good friends a good job or career being healthy and active good education living in a nice area with things to do a nice home to live in enough money to buy the things i need something else and these are all things when you're older, in your future, and if you could change anything to make your life better when you grow up, what would it be? Okay, so that's what you've got to do. So that's going through one of the, the surveys. And then there you go, towards the end, when you grow up, which things will you think most important for you to have a good life? So I can't access those till we've answered the questions. So hopefully you can see that by taking part in these surveys, and there's a different one for those of you who are in year six or a little bit older. You've got a different one in those in nine to 12. So some of you are in four, five and six there, aren't you? Nine to 12. And your survey is here. Just a little bit different from those for the younger ones. How happy you with these things in your life right now? And it goes through, OK, lots of different things. So children, I hope on Wednesday, Thursday or Friday, you'll get a chance. It's five to ten minutes on the computer. So we've all got access to computers in school. And I'm hoping and stop the share there. I'm really hoping, children, that we can take part because Hay House's children, you have got not just the right to have your opinions expressed, but you've got lots of really good opinions. You can help shape the future. And that's really, really important. So take part. It's a bit like being able to vote when you're older. And um, it's really important that you vote when you're older, but this is your chance now while you're still at primary school. So fill those questionnaires in, be part of the big ask. You can do it to Hay Houses.